Right Righto guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make micro worm cultures, uh, brand new ones, as well as recharging existing cultures. Uh, these cultures have been going since the start of 2020 and uh, they're still going strong. So I'm going to show you how I recharge these guys. Uh, this one's been going since the start of February and I've never recharged it, so I'm going to recharge it today. So uh, I'm going to show you how to recharge these and how to make a brand new one. So let's get right to it, shall we? So what are you going to need to start a microworm culture? Okay, so you can buy these packets, um, these plastic packets from uh, your local supermarket. Uh, you get about oh, five or six or seven, or I can't remember how many, uh, for about two dollars. And um, you're obviously going to need your oats. So these are just the Woolies rolled oats. Um, be sure not to get uh, the muesli ones, which have uh, fruit, dried fruit in them. I made a mistake and done that uh, the other day. So uh, make sure you don't make that mistake. Next you need your dry yeast. So this dry yeast is about $2 as well. Uh, you get uh, five seven gram satchels of it and uh, you're gonna need that to activate and recharge the cultures, the microworm cultures. And lastly, you also need a culture of microworms, obviously. So online, I've seen that you can um, make your own microworm cultures from cutting a potato and putting it in the ground for a week or two and your microworms will be on that. Um, I believe you can buy them on eBay uh, and your local fish stores sometimes sell them. Okay, so let's get to it guys. So I've got the container with the lid. We're gonna put some holes in that for the microworms to breathe and I've got the oats. So let's just straight, straight into it. It's fairly easy to do. Got some old oats here that I'm gonna add in. So, Okay, so we've got the oats. Uh, you can see I've precisely measured it. Glass of water. This is lukewarm water. Um, I'm just gonna slowly pour that in and mix it up. You don't want this too dry, but you don't want it too wet either because as the microworms start to eat um, the yeast and the oats, they will make this very, very wet. It will just get very wet. Um, so, the consistency I'm looking for is kind of a damp, just damp oats, um, not really wet at all. So that's pretty much it. You can see they're pretty dry still, but they're damp. So I reckon that's enough. Next thing, we'll get a packet of yeast. Just one sachet. Try not to spill it everywhere. There's the yeast inside. This looks like powder. Again, this water's lukewarm. You don't want it to make, to make it hot. I'm just gonna lightly put some of this yeast on here. I'm gonna start this culture. I'm gonna inoculate it with an existing microwave culture. This culture was started in January. Start of January, start of 2020. I've recharged it several times and you still see I could I could um, harvest microwaves from it still. This one's going to be recharged today and I'm going to show you what it will look like in a few days time once I re, um, recharge this. So but what we're going to do now is we're going to move some microwaves from this culture into the new culture. I'm going to mark which one's the new culture and which one's the old one. It doesn't take a lot. Okay, that's pretty much it. Just smooth it out, and that's that culture done. Obviously, put some holes in the lid. This lid has um, holes every couple square centimeters. What we'll do now is we'll recharge this culture. I'll show you how I do it. So this culture is done. This is ready to go, and this culture we're going to recharge. So what I do is just add some oats because you kind of want to dry it out again. Bring your yeast over and drizzle it over the oats. This will reactivate the microworms. So if the bed is too wet, they will not have any reason to go up the sides because they can be suspended in that substrate. So that should do it. So that one's recharged. Move that to the side. Recharge the next one. So you 
this one again has been going since the start of January. You can see I could harvest this. There are some microworms on the edges still. And I've recharged this several times. Now you can see also on the camera, it's starting to go a bit black. The top is starting to go a bit black. And that's the first sign that this culture is gonna die basically because the oats are starting to go a bit foul. But this will be fine, this will recharge it again. I'm not sure how many more times I'll be able to recharge these two cultures because they've been going, like I said, for three and a half months. You can see how many oats I'm adding, how I'm doing the yeast to recharge the culture. Remember, do not add hot water, you just want it to be lukewarm, otherwise you will kill your culture off. So that's enough. So you can see it's, some of the oats are still moving around. Done, recharged. Next one. This one I started off in late January. You can see it's not as black um, as the other two cultures that are a month older. And I've, I don't, yeah, I think I've, I have recharged this one. That's why there's, it's more kind of higher in the middle here. Um, but yeah, same thing, same deal. Add your oats. Mix the yeast up a bit. Add some yeast. And that's it. Recharged. Also with this one, I can see that the holes kind of look a bit blocked up, so I'm gonna reopen those holes on this culture. I do not throw away the um, yeast and the water. You can just pop that in and cover it up with some glad wrap, pop it in the fridge, and that will last for several days to refeed the cultures. This is how the cultures look now that I've started the new one. This is the new one, so start 8th of March, and these are the recharges. 8th of March. So that's how they currently look and we'll see how they look in a few days time. This one here is the one I started in late January and these two are the ones that were started at the start of 2020. <clears throat> this is day one after I recharged these three cultures and started this one off. So let's look at each culture a bit closer. So this is the one I started off yesterday, obviously not much activity. I just put the microworms pretty much in the bang on in the center of the culture. So they're gonna take a couple days to spread out onto the media and onto the walls. This is uh, the second oldest culture that I have um, recharged yesterday. You can see there is some activity um, on the walls already. And um, it did have a little bit of activity on the walls. There were some, wall, some worms on the walls. Um, you can see the back wall there's got some on it as well um, and this is the oldest culture this next one and you can see there's heaps of worms already on the sides um, again it did have some um, worms on the sides yesterday uh, however it's it's got a bit more um, and that's the back there you can see there's quite a few worms there and this one um, this one was almost dead so I recharged it yesterday, I think for the, the second time I've recharged this one. So, be interesting to see how this one's going to recover. Um, this one's, this is the newest culture that I had running um, compared to these other two. This was the newest one. I started this one in late January. And, um, yeah, there's not much activity. I mean, the worms are actually moving a lot quicker than they were um, the other days. You can see them moving around there. Just and um, yeah, on the other, like before I did the recharge, they were hardly moving. They were moving very slow. So a lot of um, motion in in that culture, and um, be interesting to see how it goes over the next two to three days. Hey guys, so day two of the microworm cultures. Um, so my voice sounds a bit funny today. It's just because I've just come back from the dentist and I got a filling done, and the whole left side of my face is numb. But that's how much I'm dedicated to doing this experiment. <laughs> I'm still willing to record my crappy voice on this. All right, so what do we got? This is the culture we started on Sunday. It's now Tuesday afternoon. And if you look closely, you can see some microworms moving on the sides. So this one is starting to take off now. Uh, obviously, you cannot harvest from it yet, but uh, it's... We're starting to get some microworm activity on the walls of, of the new one that we started two days ago. Here's a recharge of 
the two um, January ones, you can see that there's a lot of uh, microworms on the sides. So these have been going for three and a half months now, um, just by recharging them with some yeast and oats. And this one was almost dead, uh, one that I started in late January. You can see there are some microworms on the sides, but I've almost started it from scratch like uh, the, first, the first microworm culture I showed you. So there is some movement on the walls of this one. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing uh, mind-blowing at the moment. But yeah, there you go, that's day two. All right, guys, it's day three. Let's see how the microworm cultures are looking. So the one I started on Sunday, you can see there's worms on the side here. Still nothing to party about, <laughs> but uh, they're getting there. They'll, their numbers will be up in a few more days. Here's the one I recharged. Are the ones from the start of the year. Another one that I recharge. I don't think that's changed much since yesterday, but this one looks to have a lot more um, today. And here's the one that was almost dead. Yeah, not not much activity there. Still though, the the worms seem to be. Seem to be moving around, but um, it's pretty much this one. It's pretty much like I've started it brand new, like this one. So um, yeah, it's not looking too great. But yeah, that's day three. That's day four on this little trial. Uh, the one I started on Sunday. You can see it has a lot more microworms now um, on the edges, and I guess tomorrow might be the day I can start cultivating from that one. Here's the two that I recharged um, that have been going all year. Um, actually, it looks like this one's already starting to die. Uh, it's not looking too good. Um, but I did harvest from this yesterday uh, for the baby calvus, but from the lid. So maybe it's got something to do with it, not sure. But yeah, it's not looking as good as it was yesterday. And this is the one that was almost dead, obviously. Still not much activity on that one. Uh, but yeah, that's day four. Right, guys, day five. So it's now Friday. Uh, let's have a look at how these microworm cultures look. So this is the brand new culture uh, that I started on Sunday. You can see it is taken off since yesterday. Heaps of microworms on the sides of the container now. And um, yeah, it's looking great. So I'll be able to harvest this one now. Um, Tomorrow will be even better, I suspect. These are the two that I recharged. You can see, that hasn't really changed. They've, 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 they've increased, uh, but not much of a difference compared to the brand new culture starting. And this is the culture that was almost dead. Um, again, nothing really happening with that one, uh, which is unfortunate. So I might have to just chuck that culture away. But yeah, this one's taken off. Uh, on the fifth day. Okay guys, day six of this little experiment. You can see the brand new uh, culture, how good it looks. Lots of microworms ready to be harvested. Um, I might start harvesting that one, but I've been saving, not harvesting any of these microworms um, really uh, for, this, for this video this week. So um, I've only been harvesting off the lids when microworms go on the lids, uh, basically for my white calvus fry. But uh, yeah, you guys, if you've been following along on this video so far, would know that these are the two recharges, as well as this one. However, this culture pretty much has crashed. Nothing really happening in there. Uh, a couple of microworms on the sides, but yeah. Um, I might have to chuck that one out and start a new one. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys, day six. Here's the white calvus fry. Pretty much a week old since free swimming, eating the microworms. See, they love it. Uh, usually while they're um, not feeding, they're pretty much sitting on the bottom of the tank. Um, some do swim around, but once I pop some food in the tank, they start getting into the water column and swimming around and eating it all, so it's nice to see. Uh, I caught another fry out of the parents' tank about a day or two ago, 
So there's actually 78 fry in here now. Um, I haven't seen any of them die. Like there hasn't, I haven't noticed any dead fry on the bottom of the tank. So I can only assume they've all survived so far to date, touch wood. Uh, but they're doing really well, as you can see here. Slow growers, but um, yeah, I'm putting in the time and effort for these guys because I love them. I can't be still can't believe I've bred them. But yeah, there you go, guys, eating the microworms that I read from a recharge batch. Uh, just just dip the lid or half of the lid in the tank water. Uh, they washed off, and that's more than enough for these guys to feed off for the next few uh, hours, I suppose, because microworms can survive in the water column for a few hours. So. Good, good little fry food, but don't feed fry uh, microworms uh, solely because they uh, don't get all the nutrition and minerals and vitamins that they need um, from microworms alone. You got to really do, you really do got to vary the diet. Um, so feed them, you know, uh, crushed pellets soaked in aquarium water for a few minutes, um, at least 20 to 30 minutes there. Uh, baby brine shrimp, uh, the first little pieces that come off the uh, frozen mice or shrimp are really good for these guys as well. So just try and vary the diet, mix it up so you can ensure they're getting as a wide range of minerals and vitamins and uh, nutrients that they need to grow into health, healthy adult fish. Okay guys, so day seven, the final day of this little experiment. You can immediately see the three recharges um, have pretty much died back already. Uh, this one never really actually did anything. I'm gonna have to chuck that one out. Um, I couldn't I couldn't restart it but these two um, kind of did all right for about day three day four and then started to dwindle back to how they were at the start of the week but the very new culture I set up is going great guns uh, so I'll be able to harvest from that tonight and uh, start feeding the fish from that culture because I've been holding off purely for the, this experiment in this video so there you go guys my little experiment on microworm cultures um, if you saw the thumbnail of the video obviously I didn't eat those uh, microworms, um, they stink like hell, uh, but yeah, it was fun taking the photos for that for that thumbnail. However, um, I'm continuing the experiment uh, into the next week, and uh, next week's video you'll have I'll have a little bit of a segment on how this additional experiment went. I've basically restarted, uh, recharged the two middle cultures that you see here, and I've put in a heap of oats to level them out rather than having a hill in the middle. Like in this culture here, you can see there's like there's a raised bit in the middle of the, of the culture. So these two cultures I've redone this morning with a little bit of yeast and heaps of oats to level them out. And I'm just gonna see how they go over the next week. Um, and if they go like, if they go as well as a brand new culture looks, you know, you see the brand new culture still going strong, obviously. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll include an update in next week's video at the start of ne next week's video to see how they went. Um, but yeah, so basically in short, if you want to start a brand new microwave culture, uh, from when you start it to when you can start to harvest it, look at five days. Um, but if you're going to recharge a culture, you're looking at at least two to three days before you can start harvesting it again. Um, and it looks like it lasts for about a week. Um, compared to a brand new culture wool, which will last uh, three or four weeks. So guys, let us know in the comments below what you find you've had success with, with your microworm cultures. Uh, do you recharge them or do you always uh, like start a new culture? Um, and yeah, if you do recharge them, um, ha what have you found that has succeeded for you guys compared to, you know, I haven't, wasn't able to recharge this one, I'm gonna chuck it out and start again. So um, if you've got any ideas on how to make something start up again that is that bad, uh, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.